Um, hey guys, I wanted to um, um, share a, a dream of how Jesus Christ told me um, about my family, mem certain family members that are not with him in the afterlife. Um, I was really putting off this video. I didn't want. I didn't want to really make it, but I feel like it's time because um, a lot of you uh, might have been experiencing a similar thing. So um, you might find this helpful, I guess. So this is how the dream started. I was in my grandma's apartment in the balcony, and I opened the balcony door and entered the room. On the couch, there were um, three of my family members that had passed away within like the last five or six year period. Um, um, they weren't the only ones that passed away within the five, six year period, but on the couch, um, um, they were the only ones that I saw, but basically three of them. I'm not going to get into the details of who they are. I'm just going to keep it at that. So I saw three of my family members there sitting at the couch and on top of each one, there was a clock and on each clock, both the minute hand and the hour hand, they were all pointed at six. So when I saw that, I was like shocked. I'm, I'm, I got surprised. I'm like, what are you guys doing? What's with this um, demonic clocks and um, you guys pointing with the you're, you're sitting under these clocks all happy with with pointing at six and stuff. Um, I'm like, you guys need to repent. This is ridiculous. I can't believe um, this is actually happening. But when I'm ch when I'm trying when I was trying to tell them about Jesus, I'm like, you need to turn to Jesus. You need to turn to Jesus. Um, they couldn't hear me. And all of a sudden, I was um, cast out of the out of the room, and I was cast back into the balcony. And I was in the balcony. I was still looking through the I was still looking through the balcony window. I was trying to get a, a thing um, clear image of my family members again, but I couldn't. The the balcony the balcony window it was you know you know when a window gets wet and you can like write on it. So the balcony window went off foggy, and I saw this. I think I'm not sure if this was. A, a regular demon's hand or this was Satan himself but I saw this like demonic reptilian like a a dragon's hand with claws it had like red skin and like three to four inch long claws it was like disgusting basically I, I'm pretty sure it was Satan I had a feeling that was Satan's hand and on the fog with his claws he wrote basically he wrote don't mess with me so he was mocking me trying to tell me oh I already have your family members in hell you can't do anything about it um, they can't repent anymore, they can't mock you anymore, so yeah, this was the, I mean, they can't think, um, you can't, did I say mock, I meant, um, you can't do thing anymore, um, um, you can't have them join God's kingdom through prayers, because they already belong to me, they're in hell, so yeah, I think, um, this dream, I think it was, um, God's way of, like, reminding me that I need to change my ways, because after seeing this dream, it was a big wake-up call, I'm like, wow, the three family members that, that are not in, in heaven right now and they're dead. So they're in the place of the dead. I'm like, they were upright people. They were they were Christian. They were um they sometimes talked about God, but the problem was that they, they never repented. So they might have been Christian and upright people, but they never repented. So that's what they are. They're in the place of the dead. I was um, I, I didn't really want to make this video. I was kinda of holding back on it because I really the the three family members that that I saw in, in the, basically in the place of the dead that um, I was really close with them. So seeing that just broke my heart. So yeah, this is a me message to everyone. If you have family members that are Christian, but they're not repenting, they're not turning to Christ, this is, they should be a wake up call. Like talk to them about it. Talk to them that tell them you got to repent basically. And you got to live for Christ now. It's your, your life on earth here means nothing. If you're going to spend your eternity in, in hell. So if you have like older family members that you think they don't they only have a couple of years of life left in them and they, they didn't turn to Christ um use all your power and pray for them talk to them that they need to repent repenting how long is repenting going to take it's a couple of prayers right so what do you, you you lose nothing from it you have everything to gain your eternity uh eternity depends on it so for for all your family members friends that that they're not walking on, they're not walking the Christian path. You really need to talk to them about it because very, this is very serious. Don't let, um, don't let Satan take your family members. So, so yeah. And also in the description box of this video, um, I wrote a message and please do everything you can to share that message so we can warn people about upcoming events. It only takes like three to five minutes to read anyway. So, 
um, it's not going to be bothersome. So yeah, share that message, warn people about the upcoming events, and all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him. Thanks for listening.